Hey everybody, welcome to another Paint the Edge Off, where I teach you to make a cool painting in about an hour, and I get a little drunk doing it. My name is Joel, and today we are painting this right here. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. It's called the Teal Forest. Um, it's got some cool colors in there. I like this one a lot. Um, so I, uh, I'm gonna do that one today. Um, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to make it, and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to make this painting. Before I do that, don't forget to like, follow, share, subscribe. I got links up here. Um, and like always, I'm gonna give away a free painting like I do with all my classes. All I gotta do is correctly answer my completely subjective trivia question first in the comments and I'll send you a painting. I also have shot glasses now. I don't know if you can see that. It says paint the edge off on there. Uh, so if you wanna buy one of those, let me know. What's up, Travis? I will take an extra shot for you. Um, so with that being said, uh, let me tell you what you're gonna need for this. You will need a canvas. Okay, I'm gonna use 16 by 20 canvas. But feel free to use um, a different size if you'd like. Use that to alter kind of where you put things, but that's the size I'm using. I've also got paper towels. I have a water cup, okay? Uh, you need some kind of water for acrylic paint, so make sure to have that around. I've also got um, paper plates. I've got a blow dryer that helps me dry my paint layers nice and fast. I've got whiskey. I've got Jack Daniels today. I uh, just happened to end up with this bottle. I normally drink four rows, but we got Jack Daniels today. Um, I've got tools here. Okay, so I've got just a pencil. I've got a kneaded eraser in case you need to erase something. Two pieces of chalk. I got a blue and an orange piece. Whichever one shows up. Those are pretty good for drawing on your dried paint layers. And then I got four brushes. Okay, I got my a big flat brush. I've got my medium flat brush. I've got my medium round brush and my little round brush. Okay. Um. So, put those bristles down your water cup in there anytime you're using them. Uh, you'll also need at least a fifth of liquor. Psh, oh, I know. Oh, I know. Okay, I've got black paint, white paint, bright red, phthalo blue, purple, light yellow. Okay, um, there we go. Hey, that's everything you need. Cheers. Uh, paint the edge off. Cheers, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Shot counter. All right, let's get going. Travis, what are you been up to, man? I miss you. Miss your scent. Miss your musk. Okay, so what should we do here first? First, let's take our pencil and let's draw in a couple things. Let's draw a little horizon line. It's gonna go straight across. Then we need to draw. Um, actually, we don't really need to draw. I'm gonna maybe just take a little mark where my mountains will be okay so let's go ahead and go up a little less than halfway up the canvas about a third of the canvas okay and let's draw a little line here yeah that looks right that looks about right uh you know then i'm gonna go up i don't know a little section there maybe a little if i take this whole section that's about halfway up i'll drop that down a little and maybe that's about where i start my my mountains there okay I just drew a little line there a little line there okay there we go done drawing congratulations take a shot uh, this one's for you Travis Travis told me to take an extra shot for him so I'm going to ah okay all right, let's get going. What we want to do is we want to start in our sky. So we're going to take our uh, white paint, lots of white. And let's get some red and some yellow. Just a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, not a lot. Okay, let's take our big brush. Let's tap it off. Let's start by stirring our brush in that white paint. Get the water of your, of your brush all mixed in with your white paint. Rocking around. Let's put a little tiny bit of red in there. We want to start with a very light pink. I guess at the top it's just kind of a normal pink, and then it's going to get lighter as it goes down. So we can start. Hmm, let's see. Maybe a little bit darker. Oh, yeah. Got my Jack Daniels. 
Jason, isn't your son named Jack? Did you name him after Jack Daniels? All right, let's take our, our pink and let's just start there at the top. Let's just go right across there. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the top edge too while I go. Just get that painted in while I something to do it later. Okay, so let's see. Let's take this down. Oh, a few inches. However far you like, really. It's gonna get, let's kind of have a lot more white. Now you could go ahead and mix this up in your canvas a little, or your palette a little bit. You could probably just take white straight into it and extend that down into it. Actually named after Jackson from Bloodsport. Oh shit, nice. Way cooler. His name Jack Reacher. Named after my my soldier, my partner in Grenada. Okay, um, let's take. I'm gonna give my brush a little wash. I'm just gonna get some white paint and some yellow. Let's take a little bit of yellow here over here by my white and mix them with all this white paint. Make a real light yellow. Shit, I might need more white. Nah, it'll be okay. Okay, now, uh, I'm gonna take this in here. Yeah, I'm gonna need more white. All right. Let's go ahead and take this over here. Let's mix a whole bunch more white in with my brush. In my brush. And yeah, there we go. Okay, we're going, we're going. Hey, there we go. Just add a little white in there. Lighten it up. Okay, now what I am going to do, I'm going to take this down to about those lines that we drew. A little past those lines where I drew for those mountains. Let's take that down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and blend this a little bit more. Okay, now let's mix up an orange. So let's take our yellow and our red and stir it up. Let's get a nice orange. Now the first mountain here in the background is going to be a lighter. The one in front is going to be darker. So let's start here with this going. I don't really care about if it mixes with the background, whatever. Whatever. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and just take this all the way down. Why not? Take it all the way down to this horizon line. This is a local band, uh, uh, Vintage Pistol. Stick around. All right. Once we get that painted in, we'll go ahead and mix up a little bit darker orange, and boom, we'll have the background. So let's take more red, maybe even more yellow. Get away from the white a little bit, you know, so it's a little darker. Here we go, a little bit darker orange. And let's go ahead and just make a uh, another little mountain. Hey, whoa, 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 there we go. Now I kind of like letting these colors mix. Don't stress too much about that. And if they're, you know, I just kind of brush back over a big broad brush strokes and that kind of gets it all whatever figured out there. Okay, there we go. Hey, we did it. I'm going to go ahead and paint the side edge while I'm, while I'm, while I'm here. Kind of paint it as I go. Okay, well, that's our, uh, that's our background start. Uh, good spot for a shot, I think. So, okay, um, uh, yeah. New being faded. All right, let's take another shot. And how's everybody doing? Happy Wednesday. <sighs> okay, for the next part, we just want to get some bright white. But first, we need to draw a couple things in. Oh, okay. Let's see, first thing we want to do is, so here's our horizon line, right? We need to kind of draw where the banks of our little, you know, treesy things are. So let's go ahead and say, okay, let's find the middle. And let's make about, 
little section there, okay? You can't see that. I made two little marks there. That's kind of the center of my, my painting. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of draw this back. And just give it a little bit of a... I need to sketch this and erase it a couple times so you get it right. Totally fine. Totally understandable. I'm already probably going to have to erase something. I'm just going to go ahead and change this up. Let's have it just go back. And curve out. And let's go... Have a little point sticking out here. And have it kind of fade off down there. Okay, but not all the way to the bottom edge. It kind of comes up above the bottom edge, so it's not all the way down to the bottom. Over here we do the same thing. Let's add that curve over to the right. Another little dip out right there. Kind of hard to see. Draw a little darker. Still can't see it. Freaking fly. Uh, okay, and then it's gonna go down here and then curve back. Let's do that. Okay, that looks I looks decent. Okay, you can kind of see that there. I kind of have my little river drawn in there. My stream. <laughs> my creek. <laughs> Maybe I could actually make this come up a little closer at the top. Maybe bring that in a little bit. Okay, so if I take that back a little bit, I'll show you what that looks like. Yeah, it looks a little, a little smaller at the top, so it's getting a little smaller as we go back. Okay, let's wash our brush out. Just swish it back and forth, and then we'll put some white in there and keep going. Pretty sure there's a penny in the bottom of this cup for some reason. Filled it up with water and I sat it down and I looked down there and I thought I'm pretty sure there's a penny in there. Don't know why. Alright, let's just get white paint on our brush. Just some white paint. Just a little white. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take white paint and we're just gonna fill in the water section with white. And then before it dries, we're going to take a little bit of light pink, maybe a little bit of light orange, and mix that in while it's still wet. Okay, now let's go ahead and just get this all filled in first. Now if I go a little over these lines that I drew, like a little outside of them, that's okay. Because we'll paint over all these sections out here. Okay. Um, let's see, today's National Creme Brulee Day, do you know that? It's also National Korean War Memorial Day or something, and it's National New Jersey Day, and it's National, uh, I have it written down, Scotch Day, ooh. So, right up my alley, I should have had Scotch if I'd known. I didn't look it up really long before I started, but... Um, yeah, it's National Scotch Day. Okay, so I've got this filled in white, right? I've got this whole little section here filled in white. Who would celebrate New Jersey Day? Well, I don't know. Maybe people from New Jersey? I don't know. Let's get a little bit of paint on our brush. A little bit of light paint on our brush. Can you see that? A little light paint. Woo, let's go Korean War, <laughs> says Red Dog. Woo, Korean War! Let's go! Uh, okay, let's take some lot paint down here. I'm just gonna lightly start brushing this in from the bottom Work my way up Hey, let's go Korean War Let's take a shot for the Korean War real quick after this Okay, so I got a little bit of pink mixed in the bottom very light very light Probably hard to see on the camera right now. Uh, after we get these light colors in, it becomes a lot easier to see. But this first part's kind of hard to see exactly what I'm doing. I'm just taking a little bit of light pink in there. And just let it fade off once it gives up. Yo, shout out Korea. What's up? Okay, let's take a little bit of orange. 
So I'm just gonna get a little bit of orange on my brush here. Okay, let's put a little there. Ooh, that's kind of a lot, but let's just take that. Okay, so we can kind of see that there. I'm gonna take it and just kind of brush it in here. I'm gonna go ahead and even wipe the paint off my brush because what I've got on my canvas is enough. I don't need any more. Just go ahead and brush in what's already there. Running, come on, game, I've been running. If you notice, I'm going way outside my lines. I don't care, because you know what? I can still see what I've drawn in. It's fine. And I'd rather go over those lines than all the way to them. Okay, first step done. All right, let's take a shot for Korea, okay? Cheers. Okay. All right, let's blow dry. We'll do our trivia question and we'll get going. Okay. Today's trivia question is uh, which animal has the best 401k? Okay. Is it uh, the hummingbird? Is it the water buffalo? Is it the hedgehog? Uh, is it D? What the fuck are you talking about? Is it E? Foxes? F snakes G could you just not think of a good trivia question today or is it H bears all right so there's your trivia question for today all right give it a guess um, don't look it up okay I know it's tempting don't look it up if you want to give it a guess which animal has the best 401k and as I understand it uh, 401ks are um, uh, something a company sets up that you could pay into and get a retirement, I think, you know, uh, a 401k is something you pay into with your company and there's benefits that you get paid out. Yeah. So, you know, this applies to animals, obviously. Okay, um, oh, is it, or, or red, is it the hedgehog funds? Setting up those crazy hedgehog funds. Okay, we got a guess for bears. Bears beats best Korea. Bears beats Korea. Bears beat, what's a country that starts with B? Bethlehem? No. That's not a country. Bethesda? Isn't that a band? Brazil. Good. Thank you, Cock. <laughs> you saved me. Bears beats Brazil. Okay, you know what? I think that's good. Probably dry enough. Okay, um, okay, so we gotta do a few things here. Let me get my bearings together. My bearings together and see what I'm gonna do. Should probably take a shot while I'm thinking. Okay, I think what I need to do is put the little light pink, light purple trees back here. Then put the dark purple, fill that in for the, for the banks. Okay. All right, shut up, Joel, just keep going. All right. All right. Um, you know, what's really interesting though, um, you guys ever watch those dodo videos? The ones with the animals, you guys ever watch those? I can sit there and watch those all day long. My TikTok is just animal videos. Okay, cheers. Okay. Um, but... <laughs> you know, hold on. I'll talk about it in a second. Let's get going. Okay, I'm going to take my purple. Put on my player, my white paint. And I'm going to take my medium flat brush. Tap it off. Get some white. Lots of white. Little tiny bit of purple. Let's make a super light purple. I mean, super light. Look at that. That's super light. Okay. 
All right. Oh, oh okay. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, now I might scrape it off a little bit because I want to make some skinny little lines. I'll lay my brush down, pull it through, flip it over, pull it through. Really keep that in flat. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to start back here. I'm just going to start making little lines. You see that? Oh, cool. That shows up. It's gonna make some, maybe some bigger, maybe some closer together, some further away. Some very, very light lines lock. So, okay, maybe I can make some more. I can like kind of jumble it up there a little bit. And I'm gonna, once I get out here, I'm gonna kind of fade off. Once I get outside where my lines are for my river, I'm gonna kind of stop. Let's go ahead and fill up some of these spaces. <laughs> okay, good enough. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do now. Let's take some purple, and I think I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take purple, not just totally dark purple. I'm gonna mix some, I'm gonna go back to my big brush also. Let's take some purple. Let's have a little bit of white mixed in there, so it's a little bit lighter than purple, or just regular dark purple. Let's go ahead and take this. Okay, there we go. We got kind of a little bit of a, you know, still a dark purple, but it's not super dark. And let's go ahead and fill this section in. Um, okay, so anyway, um, those dodo videos are all about like animals and stuff, you know, and like, I don't know, they're usually like, oh, look at this cat befriend a bear or something, you know, or look at this goat and pig become best friends. And it's adorable and I love it. So the only the one the other day was this lady found this hedgehog that was like, um, like really bad health and it and it was all sick and it was covered in crap and uh, but it had no quills right so it had no quills and uh, so it had no quills and they kept being like it looked like an avocado it looked like an avocado here by the way this is a hedgehog with no quills. And they kept saying avocado, and I'm like, you mean nutsack, right? Because it looked like a nutsack. But yeah, Google pictures of hedgehogs with no quills and pretty hilarious. Like, oh, gave me a good laugh. Uh, I don't know. Like, it just seems funny. Big, it looked like a avocado. I guess the dodo can't go too, uh, they got to stay PG, you know? Oh, do, okay. Okay. You can't say ball sack. You got to say something else. Let's say avocado. Can you get your balls of the stream? Oh, off the stream. That's, but see, that's the thing. These aren't my balls. This is a hedgehog. Hedgehog with no quills. Pretty, uh, remarkably similar to my ball. No, not my balls. But it was just funny. I thought it was funny. Looks like an avocado, and I'm like, it looks like something else, but okay, we'll say, we'll go with avocado. Okay, so I'm just filling these sections in, this purple color here. Once that's dry, I'll take some dark purple. I might not even wait till it's dry. I'll just go right on top of it. Here we go. But yeah, anyway, happy uh, New Jersey Day. So I always check. Uh, it's National What Day today, you know, and. Uh, you know, it's usually like, hey, it's National Hedgehog Day, or it's National, uh, what was the one last time? HVAC Repairman Day, or... I've never seen one that's just a state. Like, just say, hey, it's National New Jersey, New Jersey Day. It's like, it's interesting, because I haven't seen another day where it's National Alabama Day or something. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty suspect. Okay, we did it. We got it painted in purple. Look at us. We got nice purple. Okay, let's take a shot and then we'll put a little more colors on the uh, the river there. 
We'll keep going. All right. So, um, yeah, National New Jersey Day. Odd. Shot counter. Yeah, I typed in um, New Jersey stuff. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. I'll get that in a minute. Hey, if anybody's watching, you want to win a free painting. Today's trivia question is: uh, Which animal has the best 401k? Is it A. Hummingbirds? B. Water buffalo? C. Hedgehog? D. What the fuck are you talking about? E. Uh. uh well, yeah. E. Foxes. F. Snakes. G. Could you just not think of a good trivia question today? And H bears. Okay, so give it a guess. Okay, let's take our, let's go back to our medium flat brush here. And I'm gonna go back to my, this super light purple color. I probably could have done this earlier. I should, probably should have done this while I was doing the trees. But let's take that light, light, light purple color here. Okay, let's go here. And I'm just gonna put some little, small, little, small little lines, kind of going left and right. As I go doing, I might space them out a little bit. They're just kind of like, shit, okay, whatever. Whatever, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'm not gonna stress about it. I'm just gonna leave that there. I don't even care, I'm not worried at all about it. All right, here we go. There we go. Okay, let's put some down here. Actually, let's not put some down there. And I like what I do. What else do I need to put? I need to put some darker purple. I don't need to wash this out. Oh, I'm washing that out. Let's get some darker purple on our brush. What I do. I does what I like and I like. Okay, so now we're gonna get a little bit, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit darker purple. Basically the same color we got here. I go maybe. Trying to get the same color, maybe it's a little dark. Yeah, there we go. And let's put some of these in here. So these are gonna be essentially like little reflections of. Grab a lot of water. If you're gonna make these nice smooth lines, they're not coming out smooth, grab a little bit of water, mix it in. And there you go. Okay. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Now, how does that sound? There we go. Let's take, um, before we're done with the water, let's take a little bit of blue. Very little, little smidge of blue, okay? It's a little smidge. Smidge it up. Lots and lots of white. Okay, this is gonna be a very, very light blue. Okay, so I've added, I've Basically, the amount of blue that just happened to touch the corner of my brush. I use that mixed up with a bunch of white, and that is enough blue to make this light blue. So just a very tiny, tiny bit of blue. And I'm gonna put some here. Maybe just a little bit up here. Not a lot. Not a lot. Just a little bit. <sighs> kind of covered up that dark purple spot that I messed up. And let's put some down here as well. Nothing use of trying to persuade me. And now, if there's other colors, so basically what I'm doing is I'm putting reflections in the water that are kind of of the, um... Oh shit, I should put some more up here. Kind of reflections of the trees that we're gonna paint in a minute. Okay, so we have to kind of, um... Put these reflections in where those trees are gonna be reflecting before we actually have them painted in. So let's do that. Maybe I'll get a little bit more of my darker purple. As long as you stay with me. Let's put some of that in here. Let's try to mix that up so it's not just straight across the lens. Maybe I'll go kind of like that. Yeah, something like that. A lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. 
Oh, okay. All right, so we did that. Okay, we need to do our dark purples next, I think. Okay, so let's wash the brush out. Let's get some dark purple. And let's start painting that in. Okay, so the dark purple we're gonna use for like, shit, I gotta think about this. Okay, I know I gotta use some dark purple to like make the horizon line and then kind of the bottom of the banks. But then I'm also gonna put in these trays. So maybe before, I, oh, that's still wet. Let's blow dry it. And then we'll add the purples in. We should probably draw where our trees are. And we'll go. Okay, let's take another shot. So yeah, I was looking up today was National New Jersey Day, National Creme Brulee Day, National Korean War Day, National Scotch Day. It's crazy how many days it is every day. I'm looking these up and I'm just like, someone must just, you must just pay, must just pay a certain amount of money and then you have a national day, right? Because it's National New Jersey Day. Who the fuck? What? Also, every other day is National, like, Smile is Power Day or something. And I'm just like, what is this shit? What does that even mean? But anyway, today is National New Jersey Day, so I was looking up New Jersey stuff. And, uh, so, they just, I guess this is a statue in New Jersey. But look at that, is that not horrifying? What is that? I didn't look at the context to do any kind of research. I probably should have, but... All I know is that's, like, what nightmares are made of, right? Like... Jesus Christ, like, why would you... Ugh, it's terrifying. So, yeah, that's a statue in New Jersey. There is actually... I was searching, and there is a... Korean War um, memorial statues, which it's today's, that's the other thing, is it's National Korean War Memorial Day, right? I guess maybe that's why, maybe that's why New Jersey, it's also New Jersey Day, because there's a national, there's a Korean War Memorial in New Jersey, maybe that's why. But anyway, then I got looking at statues, and this was another one, and it's like, <laughs> I don't know why, this just made me laugh, because like, I think it's supposed to be about the Polish massacre, but it just looks like some theater kid that like had the most dramatic death in the world and like, what is he doing? I know what it is. It's an artist who's trying to make a really very animated, you know, as animated as just they can make this person getting stabbed by a bayonet, upside down bayonet, the, the gun's upside down too, right? Uh, just looks like, um, yeah, the most dramatic person you've ever met being stabbed by a bayonet. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't laugh at it, I guess, but just the pose is so ridiculous, you know? You ever see that where things are just ridiculous? Anyone else ever just think, wow, that's ridiculous. No, just me? Okay, well, you know, things are ridiculous sometimes. Okay, let's get back to painting. Uh, let's take our little medium flat brush and let's wash it out. Okay, we want to just get purple paint. Just our purple paint, no white mixing. We want this to be very dark. And you know what? I could, You could, if it's not dark enough, you could mix some black or some phthalo blue in there with it. But if you just take this purple by itself, it's pretty dang dark. Don't mix any white with it, and it's pretty dark color. Okay, let's take our brush. Now, I do want to make a skinny line here, so again, I do want to kind of press this down and pull it and, pr and flip it over and kind of flatten my brush out. It's nice and flat. I even may have to scrape it a little bit to make sure that just the end is nice and flat. It's not blobbed up with paint. Uh, that's my technical term is blobbed up with paint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line straight across here, okay? Let's do it. Look at that, we did it. Wow. Just do it, okay? Just do it. Uh, you know, if you're worried about that, my advice to you is just fucking do it, you know? Oh, wait, you know, before I go on, though, let's, um... Let's take our chalk, let's take our light blue chalk. I'm gonna use light blue chalk because it shows up. And let's draw in where a couple of our trees are. So we basically just got, like, two... I'm gonna do, like... 
I, well, I guess I'll just do two trees. I want to do a third, but it's all jumbled up. Let's do a tree right in here. Not that this isn't the tallest tree. Okay, but that's a tree. Okay, there's the top. Boink. Boink. You see that? Okay, now let's put another tree. Set that over. But it's going to be actually the same height. Maybe a little taller. Uh, uh, let's put that one right there. Okay. Tree number two. Over here, two trees. Let's do the same thing. Let's do maybe one here. This is going to be a little taller, a little higher up than the other ones. A day out. Ba -ba -da -ba. Let's scoot it over a little bit, actually. Now, here's the good thing. Oh, no, I don't like that tree. What do I do? I lick my finger. And I get this off with spit. Or water. You can use water. Which maybe I might. Uh, because, um... It does start to taste really bad after a while, but I usually just use spit. But let's just take some water. Look at that. Comes right off, okay? Look at that. It's like I never even drew that crappy line in. Okay, so we got that. Now let's take our chalk and let's draw another one. This is going to be the tallest one. This one's going to start basically right here. This one's going to go up per to high. Boom. Okay, there's our four big trees. And then we'll put some little bushes down here. Okay, got that drawn in now. Let's go back to just taking our purple paint on our little brush and we'll kind of draw in the banks. Let's go here. What I'm kind of imagining is like, this is like the, the bottoms of those banks, right? So it's gonna be kind of like the, that edge, that vertical edge here. So let's go wow, like that, see that? That's now the edge of this bank. That's the idea. That's the idea anyway, you know? There's that bank, right? This bank, you're not gonna see that dark edge. Okay, but over here, dark edge. And then as I get in here down to the bottom, I'm closer. I'm gonna use the wide side of my brush to make sure that gets a lot wider at the bottom. That makes it look like it's closer. I did a line. Okay, now over here, same thing. Let's start here. Let's go a real thin line. Boom. It's a little thicker than I meant for it to be. Now when it's curving back, when it starts to curve back this way, that's when you want to let off, let it fade off. That's going to give the illusion of that it's, you know, the edge of this thing. But then down here, you know, I can go ahead and put a little there. Okay, now uh, we also need to take this purple now we need to start putting our trees in, okay? This is the real, you know, uh, well, before I do that, we'll put some shit on the ground. Uh, but this is the real uh, crux of the painting. What does crux mean? I'm going to take my dark purple and just kind of make some little, let's just jazz up the ground here. As the kids are saying nowadays, jazz it up, okay? So I'm just going to put some of this dark purple in there. I'm going to add a lot more other colors like light blue and stuff, um, but let's start with, while I have it on my brush, let's just go dark purple for now. Get that in there. And yeah. I'm trying to think what I want. Oh my god, if you're not, if you're not watching uh, Nathan Fielder's new show, The Rehearsal, you're fucking up. Because that show is amazing. I watched, so I watched the first episode and it was like 45 minutes. It was hilarious. Did everybody watch the second episode? I watched it last night, but it's only 30 ups, 30 minutes, so it's clearly like a, more than one part. I know if, I didn't know if each episode was going to be like a two part or, or a, a single episode or multi parts or what, but this one seems to be a two parter at least. But my God, that show is amazing. It's basically about this like super uptight 44 year old lady who like wants to know what it's like to have kids. And, uh, okay, so I'm taking just some blue and some white. I'm going to put some of this on the ground. Just make some horizontal lines there. And, uh, so Nathan's, the whole thing is he's, like, trying to give her that experience, what it's like to have kids, and show someone's a partner, right? So there's also, like, a dating aspect of the show. 
And, uh, my god, it's hilarious. The guy that she meets is actually... At first, he seems pretty cool, pretty normal. And then you get to know... And then they get to meet the guy and go into like, his actual life. And it's like, oh, he's psycho. Or he's just like an idiot. He's not a psycho, he's just an idiot. Just a dumb person. Pretty funny, though, I'll tell you that. Pretty freaking funny. Anything Nathan Fielder does, just watch it. It's hilarious. Has anyone seen that? No one? You gotta watch the rehearsal. It's on HBO Max. It's Nathan. You guys remember Nathan for you? That show, if you saw that, it's the same guy. Okay, so I got the ground covered. You know, let's take another shot. I don't even. I don't even know anymore. Who even am I? What is? What is painting? Who is painting? Why is painting? Why I are baboon? I am weasel. I am weasel. I are baboon. Okay. If you get, if you know, you know. <laughs> it's one of those things I see on Lionel Town that annoys me. If you know, you know. Okay, I'm a pretentious inside joke. Fuck off, everybody who doesn't get it. I couldn't just explain it and be like, oh, this is kind of funny, right? No, you gotta be like, if you know, you know. Only the real ones know. Some of these paper plates are so stuck together. I like ripping them apart. Okay, yeah, what am I doing? Okay, cheers. Ugh, okay. Uh, again, anybody tuning in that wants to win a free painting, uh, today's trivia question is, which animal has the best 401k, okay? Is it the hummingbird, the water buffalo, the hedgehog? Which, by the way, a hedgehog without quills looks like this, a ball sack. Okay, just thought that was an interesting tidbit you might want to know. This is a hedgehog with no quills or anything. Very different. Or is it D? What the fuck are you talking about? Is it E, foxes, F, snakes, G? Could you just not think of a good trivia question? Or is it H, bears? Now, bears has already been guessed, okay? So. And someone did already guess hedgehog, okay? Hedgehog and bears have been guessed. So. Um, let's see. That, uh, F, okay. With that, let's, um, let's take our medium flat brush. Let's get some more purple, okay? Let's start painting our trees in. I'm not stalling. <laughs> it's not like I don't remember how to do this or anything. Let's just let's just go for it. <laughs> no big deal. We'll just paint these trees in just like I did the first time, but it's not even like hard. I'm like it's not a big deal. <clears throat> I'll just paint these trees in real quick. Um, okay, so yeah, like let's just go for it. Right, let's get purple paint on our brush, yeah. Uh, okay, let's start. I think it's pretty safe to start with a line. Oh, shit. Take the trivia question down. Okay, um... Yeah, we're just gonna paint these trees in. It's not... Not hard. Not a big deal. I don't... Not, I'm not stalling. I didn't forget how to do this or anything. I think um, what I want to do is start with the tree trunk. And yeah, that looks like shit. Whatever. I don't care. Because I'm going to paint over it, okay? Let's start like that. Oh shit, this one comes down further. Okay, now, um, here's what we should do. Let's just... 
Take our purples and uh How's about? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our brush and we're gonna at the top do a little asterisk. Just touching my brush to the canvas. Just straight to it. Don't lean it, don't just straight to the canvas. Ciao. Ka-chow! Do you guys ever watch Cars? Do you guys ever watch Pixar movies? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start dancing. I'm just gonna let these things start just bebopping back and forth. They're just gonna start dancing. They're just gonna start moving around, mixing it up. I'm gonna try to space that a little bit more than I did the first time. So we can see a lot more of the background through it. And we're gonna build this up with a whole bunch of colors, so... It might look kind of bare bones at first, but the other thing too I need to do is keep it very narrow as far as I can, or else it gets huge really fast. If you start going out really fast, by the time you get down here, your tree is officially taking up your entire canvas. So go very slowly, make it bigger, just kind of make it the same a lot. And every once in a while, make it a little wider. But for the most part, you're just kind of going. Just go down, okay? Go down on your tree, <laughs> okay? Go down on your tree. Uh, uh, uh. Now, this Thalo, this uh, violet, aka purple, is gonna be a little transparent, okay? So, purple gonna be a little transparent. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, the new Nathan Fielder show is awesome. I just, I, he hadn't done Nathan for you in a while, and. Uh, I was waiting for him to do something else, and then he came out this re rehearsal show, and my god, it's pretty great. It's pretty great. I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh-uh. That goes So, um... Anyway... Hope everybody's Wednesday is going good. I don't know. I'm just waiting for the heat to be over. But I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be a regular occurrence. And I think we should all get used to it. The world's is... Uh, okay, I'm not going to say the world's ending. Because who knows. It's going to take 100 years probably. But like... Humans are, you know gonna have it pretty rough for a while that's for sure right don't you think so don't you think this is uh, a sign of something like you know dude one of the most terrifying things I heard is about polar ice caps and how not polar or just anything melting it's like there's all these things that are like a billion years old like viruses and just uh, you know living organisms I'm not a scientist but there's like these things that are like buried in like frozen under like layers and layers of the earth and as the different things thaw and there's all these things that thaw and it's like viruses and diseases and shit that come out that like everything's evolved to not have to deal with over centuries and millennia right and then now they're unthawing and it's like, oh, hey, ha, ha I'm back. It's me, the fart plague or what? Hey, it's me, the, the black tar, you know, I don't know, uh, roach plague where roaches carry. I mean, there's just a million things. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe the black fart roach plague, right? That's the next one. Right now it's monkey pox, huh? And then it's going to be the black fart roach plague point is all these things are gonna like the thing is like as it gets hotter and these things unthaw we're gonna have to deal with like more and more viruses and stuff which I thought was very interesting but uh, you know I don't know I probably watched it on like YouTube it seemed to make sense at the time okay let's go over here do these two trees same thing blah 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 
painting and just touching, tapping my brush to it, making a whole, building my tree with a whole bunch of these lines. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Is anybody, uh, hey, Cogna Log, you watch, uh, do you, what sports do you watch? You watch any NFL or anything? What's your sport? Where are you at? Cogna Log, I know you told me this last time. But I don't have the best memory. But I also just get things mixed up. Like, are you the one in the UK? Are you the one in, like, New... Are you in New Jersey? Um, I think it's funny the, uh, I don't know, just, it's not funny. It's not funny, but like, the actual, but you know, uh, Deshaun Watson's whole thing, it's not funny, but like, it's funny from a sports aspect where you're like, yeah, goodbye, like, yeah, just don't play football anymore, right? Like, just sucks, you could have been good, but you're a weirdo, creep, right? But there's, there's also like, I also wonder if there's a little fuckery going on because the Houston Texans are, uh, they kind of are horrible, 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 horrible franchise and team that uh, is clearly uh, engaging in fraudulent, fucked up shit. So it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of that shit was like, not fake, but like, you know, they probably dug in and found some shit on Sean Watson because they didn't want him to leave and he wanted to be traded. Oh, okay, you're from Denmark. What's your biggest sport? You have sports in Denmark? You guys just FIFA? You like soccer? Football? Is it uh, tennis? Is it mainly cricket? Uh, well, anyway, football's American football. But so you call, okay, so you're supposed to call, so the rest of the world calls soccer football. What does the rest of the world call just American football? Just American football? Handball? Dude, I was watching the Olympics and I saw handball and I was like, this is a thing? It's hilarious. It just looks like one of those games that you like make up in gym class. But it looks cool. It was fun to watch. I think it's funny. I don't know. I've never. I didn't even know it was like a a big sport until last uh, Olympics. Bye, man. me Oh, this is taking forever. I gotta do this like 7,000 more times. You know, right now this painting looks like some kind of creepy end of the world apocalypse uh, landscape, you know? This might be a good time to add like a little zombie walking around or like, you know, uh, Somebody ever watched that show, uh, Last Man on Earth? Hilarious show, Will Forte. You could put a little Will Forte back there somewhere. And down at the bottom, I'm gonna make these a little thicker, a little more clustered up. Okay, thank God, we got all the fucking purple in. Jesus, it took so long. Christ! Christ on a fucking cross. Okay, I'll stop. Let's do green next. Let's do green next. You know, I already blew through all the stuff I was going to talk about today, like hedgehogs with no quills looking like ball sacks, and, you know, New Jersey having funny statues. That's all I got. That's all I got. Okay. I don't have anything else. Okay. I'm, I'm out. I'm plum out. But I ain't plumb out of whiskey. Have I only taken six shots in this hour? It's amazing. I'm usually at like ten by now. But I feel drunk. Alright, cheers.
Ugh. My cat's been peeing on everything. He always pees on everything. He walks over to a wad of clothes and I go, Hey, 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 Bella! And, uh, I'm like, huh, 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 huh. And he speeds off, but he still managed to pee on this shirt of mine. So right now I can smell his fucking cat pee right now. You know, I'm allergic to cats and uh, it's bizarre. Like, after having a cat for uh, actually a while now, I guess. He's like almost a year or the better part of a year, I guess. Um, somehow I'm not dying of cat, cat dander, which I thought I would. Kind of get used to it, it's weird. Kind of surprising. Let's mix up a green. Let's get a lot of yellow, a little bit of blue. Lots of yellow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, good. Let's take some white. What is this feeling? Where does it come from? And blah, 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 blah. Isaac, you son of a bitch. You moved away and I can't see anymore. Isaac's uh, my friend who made this band. And he's a he's a goober. He moved away. Okay, I made a nice light grain. Lots of yellow, lots of white. If I'm rolling, let's take our light green. I think I want more white though. Let's take more white. I think I want more. Oh man, do I want more? No, that's okay. Let's let's take this color. Let's take this real light green. Lots of yellow, lots of white. Let's try it. Now I'm gonna be real sparse with this, okay? It's very sparse, very. Just kind of dab her in. It's a tap, tap, tap a roo. The main thing you want to do here is not destroy your brush when you're just like dabbing away. Every once in a while, stop, flatten it back out, wipe some of that extra crappy paint off. It takes a minute, but like it's it's worth it. You don't want to fuck up your brush completely just because you want to get through it fast. Don't be impatient. Now, granted, I'm being impatient because I'm trying to do this fast, but this is why I'm telling you that. Like, don't do everything I'm doing. Take a minute, wash your brush out, flatten it out. Don't destroy your brush. Brushes are expensive. If you haven't already figured that out, if you're painting, yeah, no. Brushes are expensive. Okay, let's just dab this around. Now this layer went a lot faster. The purple layer is probably going to take the longest. So we got that out of the way. But it will take a little bit of time doing all this. So anyway. Um, I don't know. I personally have not been watching many sports or anything. Like usually football is a good thing to take my mind off things I feel like. There's nothing to look at right now. I got nothing to deal. I got nothing. We had our work Christmas party the other night. That was pretty fun. Got a little purple mix in my brush. I'm going to wash it out. Okay, a little bit more of my green. Here's what else I'm going to do. I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to make some little lines. Oh, now that's not being a very good thin line. So let's scrape it. Let's take a paper towel. Your brush isn't coming out. Take a paper towel and kind of swipe it through. Now let's take our brush, pull it through, flip it over, pull it through nice and flat. Now my brush is in the back to being nice and skinny. See that? Nice and skinny. Let's put some little lines like so, kind of like branches or 
you know, whatever. Just whatever you want to do. Just do whatever you want to do. Here's my advice to you. Do whatever the fuck you want to do, okay? Here's my advice to you. Stop giving a shit. And just start doing what you want to do. That's the only advice I have. Everything else, I would suggest cry. Cry about it. I mean, really just give give in and just no I'm, I'm kidding it was a joke <laughs> uh, it's not worth it you're good you're fine you do not need to cry about anything you're doing fine as a person Don't let people shit on you you know also like don't let people fucking I don't understand some people like well, this person said that, and they said that. And I'm just like, who cares? What who cares what they said? Why do you care? You know you're not a piece of shit. Like, yeah, I know, but they think that. And it's like, this sucks for that person who thinks that, not you. Don't get that. I said this in another stream. It's like, I'm not ashamed of something. I was like, I probably should be more ashamed of things, but I'm not. I don't know got over that and I didn't get over it I'm still ashamed of things I guess but like I don't know I just don't care I just don't care what people think about me um, which has got to be very clear right now maybe it's not but I'll tell you this uh, I have too many paintings I need to give some away so someone please take one the trivia question if you want one is uh, which animal has the best 401k is it A, hummingbird? B, water buffalo? Huh? Is it C, hedgehog? D, what the fuck are you talking about? E, foxes? F, snakes? G, could you just not think of a good trivia question today? Or H, bears? Cheers. You know what? No one's talking, so I'm just going to talk to myself. Let me climb up my own ass for a little bit and come up with some bullshit uh, advice or something. Okay, let's stick with our... Stick with your medium flat brush here. We're going to do our blues now. But basically, if you haven't figured this out, we're just going to layer it in our colors. And we're building it up. Okay, so let's start with our light blue here. Lot blue. We'll do our darker blue after this. So this is your lighter blue of the two blue colors, right? Take more water. This seems to be dried out quite a bit. If you notice your paint on your plate is like just all clumping up and as you pull in your water, you see some they're thinning out, but then you see all these big clumps. Keep getting water. Keep getting water. It's uh, your your paint's drying on your on your plate basically. That's what that is. Get more white. Ooh, there we go. Nice, fresh white. Ooh, there we go. Nice, fresh white. Oh, I need to take the shot, the trivia question down. You know what term I hate is when it's like wax philosophically. I don't know why, it just seems so stupid. It's like rapping, but waxing. And it's like his... Does wax mean rap? It's a stupid way to say rap. Okay. What I'm talking about. Okay, light blue, let's go. Light blue, here we go. Light blue, I'm just gonna dab this in. So now I'm going back to kind of what I was doing with the purple. Kind of filled it in. I still want to see my sky through it a little bit. But I'm just going to go through and dab. Just dab away, okay? Just dab away. Big idiot. Let me wax philosophically here. Um, if life gives you lemons, shut the fuck up about it. That's me waxing philosophically. Let me wax philosophically. What was that one? <laughs> oh my god, I need to find this TikTok. Uh, but I watched like 
there's the Tom Segura Your Mom's House uh, podcast and Christina P. She always does the uh, TikTok <laughs> creation. But there's this guy it's in black and white. And he's got all this dumb fucking makeup on. And he looks like a demon. He's trying to look like some kind of demon person or something. And he's like smoking and like the smoke blows like, you stand behind me, I protect you. You stand beside me, I fight with you. You stand in front of me, I will... Andy or something. <laughs> he defied in this video. But I'm like, so what you're saying is like, you're a nightmare to be in the elevator with? Like, what if there's like, you're just in a crowd of people? Are you, is your, is your brain just freaking out? Okay, I need to find this. I need to find this and show it to you. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, you know what, it's, I'm too drunk and it's too far in for me to find this. Maybe when I edit my video, I'll add it in. But... It's just really funny. It's this dude is like... You stand in front of me? I'll end you. Stand beside me. But he's like... His face is painted up. It's just such a dumbass dork. Who probably works at like Amazon or something. I just want to be like, so what do you do to crowd of people? Do you just freak out on half of them and then like, then after trying to protect and then you're like, oh wait, no, I'm, I'm protecting you. Don't attack me. Like what happens? Stand behind me. I protect you. Stand beside me. I fight along with you. Stand in front of me. I end you. Oh yeah, do you? Oh man, this is crazy. Come on, baby. It's about time for another shot, cause almost done with the blues. So I'm gonna do the dark blues too. Okay, then we'll do the little shrubs. And then we'll see what we gotta do to finish up. But we're getting close. I gotta figure out if I can do, uh... If I can do videos in here. And add it, like, show a video while I'm talking. That'd be great. I don't know how to do it, though. I may even have to go back and add purples into my trees at some point. Maybe before I finish these off. Before I do little shrubs. Okay, there we go. We got the light blues in. Time for shots. Ah. If you're in like a concert and there's people below you and above you, then what? What's your... Then what happens? <laughs> Alright, let's take a darker blue. More blue mixed in with our white. So just take more blue, mix it up there. We're gonna add a little bit of this throughout. Basically the same kind of thing, just a little bit darker blue. Throw that in. I like leaving the green as the little branches, but you could take another color too. You could take any color here. You could take your purples, your light blue, whatever you want, and make some of those branches in there. Now this is kind of our final color in the trees. So there's anywhere that seems kind of sparse, like this seems kind of pathetic in here. And here I might add some more blue, kind of thicken it up, right? Okay, there's a lot there, so I might skip over that, but down in here, 
It's kind of, you know, really thin there. Want to thicken that up? Let's add some in there. Okay. Now this one is behind that one, so yeah, the smart thing to do would be do the ones in the background first, but um, I'm kind of keeping that in mind, trying not to stay out of that one, but inevitably you get a little bit kind of overlap, but whatever. It kind of all becomes a blur anyway at some point. And, uh, you know, if you're nitpicking it that hard, you know, I don't know. I mean, keep, I'm not going to try to squelch your creative perfectionism. You keep making it better, but I personally, I'm like, I just feel it out. I think that's, that's why you get your best work is just go fast. Don't think. Let your, let your hand, your brain just do what it does. And that's more fun. You get the, you get the most beautiful stuff by just... I guess maybe I'm just speak for myself. I get the most beautiful stuff if I just go fast and just let my uh, you know let things happen. Like I feel like that's I do want to make sure this is in front. So let's go ahead and make some bigger kaboom. That's in front of that. Boom. Okay. 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 So we got trees in. Oh shit, I got little spots. Got little spots in here. Okay, I'm gonna take some white in there and I'll cover that up. So, fudged it up. Man, I'm boring myself today. Just bored. I guess I'll stop being so cynical. Cynical. Cynical? Cynical? Cynical. Don't be so cynical. Have I only done nine shots? I feel so much more drunk. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Let's go back to this little medium brush here. And let's put in some little old friggin... Little bushes. Let's go back to our bushes. Okay, let's just get straight purple. Okay, our dark purple. Let's go. Hey, yeah, uh, hey, yeah, uh, hey, yeah, uh, hey, yeah, uh, hey, yeah. Uh. Excuse me. I am sorry about that. Kind. I'm kind of sorry. I'm not that sorry. Yeah. And this is where we kind of put his little bushes. Look, okay, let's take some purple. Let's put his little bushes in there. There we go. There's a big old fat bush. Okay, so paint a big old fat bush, okay? This is where we paint big old fat bushes, okay? Now, let's take this and let's wash our brush out. Let's go back to our lot grain. Now, really wash your brush out. Okay, and while you're washing your brush out, take a shot too. And then once you take a shot, then you'll wash your brush out and you'll uh, make a light green. Okay, let's go back to our light green. Okay, let's do the same thing we did up there. Let's take some lot green. Let's build our little br our bushes out. Okay, let's put some green in our bush. I got a green bush for you in my weed pipe. Is that is that a thing? Is that a joke? Did I do? Did I do good? No. I got a green bush for you in Colombia. What does that even mean? What do you mean by that, Joel? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think drugs and alcohol and weed and bushes and I don't know. No one knows what you mean. All right, we're gonna just keep going. Too drunk to make any sense anymore. I swear, nine shots is all I've taken? I've only taken nine shots. 
Um, listen, guys. I don't know what else to say. Uh, uh, birds aren't real? I don't know. Is that something people say now? I'm panicking. I'm so panicking. My god. What am I doing? I'm just painting. Okay, there we go. Let's take some blues. Well, let's take another shot, too. But we're gonna need more Dr. Pepper. You know, who's your favorite artist? Is anybody watching? Does anybody have a favorite artist? Like a real favorite artist. Like one of the real ones, you know? Like, is it Van Gogh or Matisse or some shit like that? Picasso. Cheers. <sighs> Matisse was one of my favorites. Diebenkorn. I like Richard Diebenkorn a lot for his... This is the way he... His compositions, just the way he structured his paintings. Very cool. Um, then I also like... I mean, I like Monet. Just Impressionism in general. I mean, I like a lot of those artists. All those guys. Degas. I always like Cezanne a lot. Cezanne shows. Dope. Some of the dopest dope I ever smoked was Saison. Some of the dopest dope I ever smoked was Paul Saison's paintings. Okay, let's make a big old fat bush down here. Hey, I got a fat bush for you. Paint a big old fat bush in here. With my light blue right up here. Now, I'm going to kind of structure this a little different than my trees so you can kind of see that they're different. That's kind of my goal here. Oh, look, little fat trees. Oh, my little fat bushes. I got a fat bush in here. There we go. Hey, I got a fat bush for you. What's up, fat bush? I don't know why fat bush is. <laughs> yeah, I think I just like him to say fat bush. You know, fat is just funny. And I say that as a fat man. Okay, so don't get mad at me. I'm fat. If you don't believe me, you don't know me in person for real, because I am fat. I used to be skinny. I guess let some darker blues, too. Um, anyway, anybody ever see that show that Nathan for you guy made called Rehearsal? It's so good. You know, I'm kind of making a fucking blob of this, but I don't care. <laughs> Thanks, Cogginalog. You're really keeping me going. You know, all in all, I don't like it. I'm about to... Let's dry this and um, try to unfuck it up. Let's dry it. You know, the drunk side of me wants to just give up. Say, hey, Joel, you fucked it up. You didn't do it right. You know? What are you going to do? Uh, and the undrunk side says, hey, you know what, dude? You can fix this. You got this. Take a <sighs> shit. Oh, now I'm in. The undrunk side says, "Hey, you can fix this. Don't be a pussy." And then the third side that is a pussy says, "Don't do that. Uh, if I'm scared." And then the fourth side that's like, you know, this uh, demonic, crazy person's like, fuck you, I'll kill you. And then the fifth side is like, well, why would you kill him? He's, he's, 
the logic, the logical side. It's like, oh, you do. And then the sixth side, it's like, I am a dead, I am dead. This, I've, I see dead people, right? And then the seventh side is like, um, you know, I am God. And then the eighth side is like, who murdered my daughter? And then the ninth side is like, I am murdered. And then the tenth side is like, what is murder? I'm an idiot. I'm a child. And then the eleventh side is like, children are... Okay. Who am I right now? Okay. What am I? What is painting? How drunk am I? I swear to God, I can't have... I had to have done more than ten shots, because... I gotta make the number on the screen show more than ten, because I feel like... almost died Ugh. okay one thing I want to do um, is I know I put some black and some white in my painting so again I'm sticking to my medium flat brush and I'm gonna take some white paint cover up some of these dots on the water that I didn't mean for and then I'll take some black and uh, put some of that into my trees and bushes Then let's do some math here. Uh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, let's take our hot paint. Put some white paint over these little droplets that I fudge down. Yeah, you know, it's kind of fun to let those decide where your your white whites are. You know, your lightest lights. I think I take some of that back into whatever and whatever. Add some white. That's fun. Maybe I'll take some white and put. Ha, 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 ha. I think we do this. <laughs> or go uh, like this. <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but I think that makes the most sense. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else? But here's what I do. Let's do some math here. Let's do this. Black paint. It's black paint time.
I would recommend taking more time on this than I'm doing. Hey, you know what? Congratulations, everybody. We did it. Um, and, uh, sorry, I lost it there for a little bit. I kind of went a little crazy for a second. Hey, let's take our baby flat brush and get some black paint. And uh, let's sign our initials. Boom. Paint the bottom, bottom grudge. Brett. Fridge. Paint the bottom fridge, please. Just gonna take a color. I don't even care. Green doesn't make sense, but let's do it. As long as the fuck me. Okay. Don't get on the front of the painting, cause you do, you're an idiot. Okay, and I'm and and don't be an idiot. Hey, you know what, everybody? Congratulations. Today's trivia question. The answer was. Um, now here's the correct answer. Um, the trivia question today was: Which animal has the best 401k? Is it A, the hummingbird? B, water buffalo? C, hedgehog? D, what the fuck are you talking about? E, foxes? F, snakes? Uh, G, could you just not think of a good trivia question today? And H, bears. The correct answer was G. I could not think of a good trivia question today. Honestly, I couldn't think of one. Um, this is the, I'm an idiot and I'm stupid and I'm dumb. And this is the only thing I went through so many things. I was trying to think of things. I didn't have time to like really do stuff. And this is the only, the first thing I could think of was, uh, you know, let's, I don't know. And this is what I went with. So that's the real answer. Now, no one guessed it, and I have too many paintings, and no one ever watches or guesses, so I'm just going to give a painting away to everyone that guessed a, a question, okay? So, cog and log if you guessed, and whoever else you went to. Plot twist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's exactly what it is. It's a plot twist. You should see this coming a mile away. All right, um, hey, happy Wednesday, happy New Jersey Day, happy Korean War M Memorial Day, happy Creme Brulee Day, and happy Scotch Day. Okay, if you've forgotten, this is what a hedgehog without quills looks like. It looks like a ball sack, not an avocado, which people like to say avocado to be PG and not say ball sack, as the dodo taught me this week. Um, let's see, this is... A horrifying statue that apparently is in New Jersey that is for me would terrify me every time I drove around um, and then this is um, a theater kid getting killed by a bayonet in a war this is what uh, the most dramatic also how thin this person is is like skin and bones this person is not a soldier. This person is someone acting like a soldier who's like, should I die like this? You know, like, I know the artist who made this is just like going for, I get it, but. Hey everybody, thanks for watching and supporting my, uh, supporting my, Dependence on alcohol. I think everybody's supporting my nothing really. You're not supporting anything. I love y'all. Thank you for watching. You're supporting me and my feelings. I love you. Goodbye.